Ever since the beginning of the United States till now, there has been 46 different presidents. Between these 46 presidents, there are two presidents that have so many similarities that it's kind of weird. And the weirdest part is that they are one century apart from one another. Abraham Lincoln is the 16th president of the US. And one century later, John F. Kennedy is the 35th president of the US. Just like we said, even though these two presidents are extremely far apart, but they have way too many similarities, and it's kind of suspicious. Like for example, both Lincoln and Kennedy were the second child of the family. Both of them had health issues since birth. Like John F. Kennedy was born with celiac disease. This is a problem in the small intestines. And Abraham Lincoln had Marfan syndrome since birth. This syndrome causes your arms, fingers, legs, and entire body to grow longer than usual. And that's one of the reasons that Abraham Lincoln is the tallest president in US history. He was 1.93 meters tall or six foot four. What other similarities do these two have? Both of these presidents entered the US Congress in the years ending in 46. Abraham Lincoln entered Congress in the year of 1846. And 100 years later, JFK entered Congress in the year 1946. Another interesting similarities is that both presidents won the election in the years ending in 60. Abe Lincoln won in 1860 and John F. Kennedy won in 1960. Both Kennedy and Lincoln have seven letters in their name. Both of these presidents, even though they were 100 years apart, one of their main concerns were civil rights. Based on their presidency, Lincoln wanted to abolish slavery and John F. Kennedy wanted to eliminate racism. During John F. Kennedy's presidency, segregation was still active. Both presidents, when they entered the White House, they lost a son. Abraham Lincoln lost his 11-year-old son, Willie Lincoln, and John F. Kennedy lost his newborn son, Patrick Kennedy. Another interesting fact based on these two names, both Patrick and Willie's full name has 15 letters. Of course, both of these children had middle names because they're in the United States. Patrick's full name was Patrick Bouvier Kennedy. And Lincoln's son was not Willie Lincoln. It was William Wallace Lincoln. And both of these names have 21 letters. Another similarity based on these two is that a lot of people weren't a fan of them and wanted to eliminate them. And that is the reason they got assassinated. Both of the assassinators that killed these two presidents are known with their full name, John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald. So whenever you hear these two names, they use the full name. And that means every time their middle name is mentioned. And another interesting fact is that both of their names has 15 letters. John Wilkes Booth, the person that assassinated Lincoln, entered the theater that Lincoln and his wife were watching a show in and shot him in the head inside the theater. When he escaped, they finally caught him in a storage. But right here, another interesting similarity is found. Lee Harvey Oswald shot JFK inside a storage unit and he was later caught inside a theater. So it was the complete opposite. The first death happened in a theater and later on caught in a storage. The second death happened in a storage and later on caught in a theater. Another terrifying similarities is that both of these killers were killed before their court date. Both presidents were assassinated on a Friday. Both of them were shot in the head and both of them were sitting right next to their wife. 
The theater that Abraham Lincoln was shot in was called the Ford Theater, but Kennedy was killed in a car that was made by Ford Motor Company, the Lincoln Continental. These two presidents were assassinated one century apart, and two presidents replaced them. The president that replaced Lincoln was Andrew Johnson, and the person that replaced JFK was Lyndon Johnson. So both of them were Johnsons. And another terrifying thing is that both of these guys were born in the years ending in 08. Andrew Johnson was born in 1808, and Lyndon Johnson was born in 1908. Both of their first name have a similarity. They both have six letters in their first name. And both of these Johnsons were senators. Throughout American history, four presidents were assassinated. But these two are the most famous presidents out of all of them. And if you go all around the world, there is a high chance that people know these two. But the other two, James A. Garfield and William McKinley, nobody really knows about, unless you read a lot of American history. But really, is there a true meaning behind all these similarities? I mean, what does it even matter? If you want to compare similarities with two famous figures, you can find two famous figures and find a whole lot of similarities. We're not gonna go too far. Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin, both of these guys were born in an extremely poor family. Another similarity that you all know about is that they were the most famous dictators of all time. Both of their parents were extremely religious. In terms of politics, they were very radical. And that's the main reason that at a very young age, they both went to jail. Both of them got into power when their countries were unstable. Both of them were not a fan of democracy. They both modernized their country in a very short period of time. Both of them had socialist ideas. One of them was extremely right-wing, and the other one was extremely left-wing. The alt-right is basically fascism, and the alt-left is basically Stalinism. But both of them are a socialist ideology. Like, the word Nazi stands for National Socialism. In another way, they both had the same mindset. They were very racist, and they thought a certain group of people do not belong in society, and they only damage the society. Another interesting similarity is that neither Hitler was German, and Stalin was not Russian. Hitler was Austrian, and Stalin was Georgian. Stalin is not even his real name. His real name is Jugashvili, which later on in his younger years, he changed it to Stalin, which in Russian, it means man of steel. Ever since these two were born, until the day they died, they didn't have a regular job. And by regular job, we're not talking about a politician. I mean, working at a job. They were both power hungry and both of their wives committed suicide. But Hitler's wife committed suicide with Hitler himself. But some say Hitler might have gone to Argentina, but who knows? When you look at famous leaders throughout history, they were either commanders, generals, or they were the head of the military. But these two were never a high-ranking official. Hitler was a soldier in World War I, and Stalin was never a soldier, but they both rose in the ranks of politics. So this shows us that if you cherry-pick two famous leaders, you can find some similarities between them. But the similarities between Kennedy and Lincoln is probably the most interesting one.